welcome back guys so just heading up to the mark 2 now and hopefully we're gonna get a driving today so I was racking my brains thinking what jobs have we got left to do and I'm pretty sure all I gotta do now is put the shocks on uh, do a quick nut and bolt check, wheels, and we're away. So, fingers crossed. It's a beautiful day out here uh, in sunny Bristol today in the UK. So, hopefully, we get the car out on the road. So, it's time to get cracking and get these shocks in. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as it seems. So, the old shocks that are on here were actually SPAC shocks um, and they're adjustable, so they didn't look in too bad condition. So, I just threw a load of paint on them. Um, and thought I'd just chuck it straight back in. Issue being that, yes, we got the bushes, uh, and it obviously you got the top hats that came out from the original one uh, that came in the kit. However, the bush that goes in here, these are the only other bushes left that I've got in the kit. Um, and they are no bueno, so <laughs> that doesn't fit in there. So the original. Uh, so that bit goes onto there and they're bushed uh, and there was an original bar there with a bush that goes around there. So one, he's not the right size. It is the right diameter though. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but they are actually the right diameter. Um, but yeah, they ain't gonna work. So unfortunately, we've got to use the old bushes, which wanted to replace them because they're pretty knackered this is it's pretty horrible uh, but this one's actually the good one so uh, the one that really needs replacing is that one who is I think the technical term is completely shagged uh, unfortunately I need to get this car on the road I've been looking around for ages to see if I can find some replacement so these are the like wine glass shape bushes um, but I cannot find them anywhere. So I think I'm gonna contact one of the manufacturers uh, and see if I can get some. But for now, to get this car on the road, uh, we're just gonna to have to reuse this horrible, poor, sorry, excuse for a bush. Uh, it might rattle around a bit, but hey ho, no mind. Okay, let's get her in. So I know what you're thinking. Why on earth is that idiot reusing those horrible bushes? not just waiting another week. Well, the reason why we've got to get this car on the road charge is I'm actually supposed to be getting married in two weeks and this car's got to be there. And if it's not there, then, well, you guys know what. As they say, it's just rinse and repeat on the other side. Oh man, guys, I can't believe it. We are done. It looks great. Check this out. I'll see if I can throw in some extra pictures of what it used to look like. But yeah, I've been around, did a little quick nut and bolt, did, put the split pins in. Let's bring this guy around here. So there's a couple of bits which need a bit more paint. There we go, that one there. Um, there's a few snags on the snag list, as we know, but yeah awesome she is looking so cool i'm really stoked it's taken so long to get to this point but i'm super glad that we um oh, super glad that we got here so one more job before we put the wheels on and drop it down uh and that's to get the steering run uh steering run the steering on so before we get too excited and just literally connect the steering up uh and drive off we should probably try and align the the wheel to the wheels so just gonna get this guy just fouling on the um the coupling there the other components so there we go get this wheel looking straight in the wheel arch I might off the wheel up actually just to check out um so I haven't changed any of these tie rods or anything like that. So all the geometry, all the all the um, 
uh, towing tow out should be as it was when I took the vehicle apart whether that's right or not <laughs> who knows but it well yeah it drove not too bad um, when I got it so that's close enough so yeah when I just align this side the other other side should be great I'll just give it a quick double check and then we'll hop into the cab and um, make sure the wheels centered before connecting that last um, uh, the steering shaft steering shaft to the steering box that's what we do right wheel on well that looks mostly straight so um, let's go <laughs> 